The funeral of African Global Operations CEO Gavin Watson takes place in Port Elizabeth at the Feather Market Center this morning. Watson died in a car accident just over a week ago. A bevy of high-profile mourners from around the country are expected to attend, including the who's who of the ANC. Let's now cross live to our reporter, Lorato Tipa, in Port Elizabeth. Uh, Lorato, very good morning to you. Give us an update. What time can we expect proceedings to begin? And I know we talked to high-profile guests that we are attending. Any idea who are we talking about? The expected time for the funeral to start is 11 o'clock sharp. Um, just yesterday at the airport here in Port Elizabeth, we saw the arrival of a former president, Jacob Zuma, and also other high-profile members of the ANC are expected to attend um, this funeral. Um, rightfully so, one would say, because um, Gavin Watson, during the 1970s, started a party called the Conservative Party, which was focused on teaching people the importance of working with and not against the ANC. So from the memorial, memorial service on Friday up until today, the ANC have said that they will come out in numbers, uh, both locally both a provincial and also nationally to show their support towards Gavin Watson. We also have heard that this specific call takes a capacity of 1,300 people and people from the township will be taken by bus to this venue as well. You understand why, why Leanne they are going to go to the township because that is where we believe that Gavin Watson and his family made their roots in terms of their support towards rugby players, particularly the black rugby players forming um, a rugby team during the apartheid time that was really focused on trying to uplift the black players in the community and also them themselves playing for a black party. So people from the township are expected to come in their numbers as well to give their support to Gavin Watson and his family. It's, a, it's obviously a very sensitive time for the family but you know there's still investigations underway about the accident and so much mystery around Gavin Watson and his death and the accident that was held uh, just outside the, uh, the airport here in Johannesburg, the Oahu Tambo International Airport. Is that spoken about at all or is it a, obviously, you know, it's not something you, you want to ask these questions, but I mean, standing around, people must be talking to the mystery around it. I think mostly on social media is where all the talk has been, but just last week we went to Alistair where Gavin Watson was born, and when we were speaking to people there, they didn't even mention the fact that there, were, there was a mystery surrounding his death. More than anything else, they spoke about the family and the contribution the family made in Alistair in terms of just uh, providing business sectors and really helping the people in that area in terms of fighting with unemployment. But uh, I mean, just the general people in public and also where he was born, uh, people really sad about his death, but no one really mentioning the mystery behind his death, whether they believe he's alive or believe he's dead. But most people really been convinced that he's dead and wanting to come here to support the, f the family where they say, where in, in a time they say is their time of grief. So no real talk about the mystery behind his death, just people sending their condolences because truly they believe that Gavin Watson is late. Well, uh, interesting there. Lorato Tipa, thank you very, very much for updating us. Lorato is in Port Elizabeth.